Howdy again. We are going to draw another center. This time let us do medians. And medians run from a midpoint of a side to a vertex. Midpoint to vertex, midpoint to vertex. Medians cut a triangle in half by area. When the medians meet, they find us a centroid. A centroid is a center of mass, the pivot point. So we need to find the midpoint. Now, Jojo has got a tool for it, but we're doing this on paper. We don't have a tool clicky thing, but we do have a compass, and that will let us find a midpoint. So what we need to do is draw circles, amazingly enough. So draw a circle. Go more than halfway. If I didn't go more than halfway, I can always do that again. Get a twin. And what's nice about GeoGebra is I can fix that, that they're not big enough. Okay. So we got twin circles. Now, again, this would make a perpendicular bisector, right? Well, it makes a perpendicular and a bisector. Well, we just care about the bisector part. The bisector is finding us the middle point because it's cutting it in two equal halves. So we want to do the intersection of the blue and the purple. So again, on paper, just you know, connect those and make those two dots. Connect those two dots. Just do a segment, though, this time. We don't care about the whole big perpendicular bisector. We just care that this line right here is going right there. That is the midpoint of this side. So then we draw a line going from midpoint to vertex. That's a median. We found the midpoint by two twin circles. All right. So let's do the other one. So we need a circle up here. We need a twin. Twin the, twin the blue up there. Let's make it red. All right. We need the intersection of the red and the blue. Again, on paper, you're just, you know, putting dots there and there. It's going to help be helpful if you have colored pencils. All righty. Uh, connect those two. So there's a red and a blue. Here's red and blue. I want that to be a black line, though. Okay. So right there is a midpoint. So it's nice if you have some colored pencils so it's easier to work with. Or after you draw it, get a highlighter or pencil and, and draw over it. We now want the intersection of the blue, of the red, and the purple. All right. Intersection of the red and the purple. And I'm going to have to zoom here. All right. And connect those. There's red and purple. There's red and purple. All right. There is our intersection of the bisector. So that gets us our midpoint. Midpoint right there. And then draw from the midpoint to the vertex. Midpoint to, oh, I forgot to do that on this one. Oh, my gosh. Midpoint to vertex. Yay. So right there, we'll find that for you. Right there, right there is the centroid. And, yes, if you kind of notice it, right down here is the um, circumcenter. But that's the one we're doing. Right there, centroid. So the twin circles found us a midpoint. Draw midpoint to vertex, and then repeat. Again, having some colored pencils or, shar or Sharpies or highlighters to color your circles so you're sure which ones. And you might need to take your finger and trace. Okay, I want to find the intersection of the purple, and then bring your other finger down, you know, and the red, and then purple, then bring your finger from the red and find where they cross. That's going to be the hardest part. 